Do you know the name Adol Kristin? Ah, Adol Kristin. From the time he left his homeland at age 16 to the final years of his life, he surrendered each and every day of his existence to fate, wandering the world in search of his next adventure. His exploits have been meticulously chronicled in over 100 volumes of personal travelogue, detailing where he'd been, what he learned, and what he accomplished thereat. These are not tall tales, but factual accounts. Each volume is comprised of a simple, honest assessment of events, with an emotional detachment that affords the reader a certain degree of personal interpretation. Yet, despite Adol's dry and humble candor, all who read of these brave new worlds, these exotic landscapes and encounters, come away from the experience deeply affected. Indeed, it is as if the reader is right there with him, feeling just as he must have felt. The events I shall now recount took place a mere three years after Adol Kristin set out on his first adventure. Collectively, these accounts are known as the Felgana Archives. I invite you to take up Adol's sword as if it were your own, and allow yourself to become immersed within his words. Imagine if you were he. Well, at all, here we are. This is Felgana. I was hoping we'd get here a little earlier in the day, but I wasn't expecting the waters to be so rough. Still, this place does bring back memories. Hard to believe it's really been eight years since I left. There's Margo, I always called her Mams, and old Gardner. Not to mention Chester, and Elena. <laughs> I wonder how they're doing after all this time. Oh man, what the hell happened here? This monument's dedicated to the god of safe journeys. It's a relic of the old religion, from when people believed that spirits existed even in stuff that wasn't alive. I just don't get why anyone would deface it like this, though. I guess maybe the rumors really are true. What was that? It came from over there! Hey! Wait up, Adol! Damn it! Left behind again. No way. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What the hell are monsters doing in Felgana? Monsters? Here? What are they doing this close to town? Chester...
Excuse me. Thank you very much for saving me. You're a traveler, aren't you? Um, are you hurt at all? Hey! <sighs> are you all right at all? Right when you ran off, I got attacked by monsters too. I'd like to know what the hell those things are doing in Felgana. Whoops! Excuse me. I guess they must have been after you. Are you okay, miss? You don't look like you're hurt, at least. Huh? What's wrong? Something on my face? Am I, like, covered in monster gore? We should probably get moving and head to town before we're attacked again. I can't say I recognize your face. You've got to live in Redmond, I figure. Togi? Uh. I knew it. I must be dreaming. Togi, you're actually back. What have you been doing all this time? Hey, hold on a second now. You obviously know me, but do I know you? How can you even say that? You, me, and my brother used to play together all the time when we were kids. Don't you dare tell me you've forgotten. Oh, no way! When I last saw you, you were just a, a skinny little tomboy! Well, that was eight years ago. I'm 17 now. Man, you sure are. I'm sorry, where are my manners? It's nice to meet you. And, again, thank you very much for your help. My name is Elena. Elena Stoddart. 